Hey everybody, it's Brandon from the SAS, the Snack Food Appreciation Society, and I decided that, you know, the most popular videos online half the time happen to be cat videos, and I have a beautiful Himalayan cat, and I need to do a Quick Chips review, so it's an episode of Quick Chips, with a little bit of cat in there as well. So today I have Cape Cod chips by uh, Cape Cod, obviously. Uh, these are apparently a big favorite of SAS member Shaw, who uh, I think lived in the uh, northeast region of our country uh, not too long ago. He's back down in Virginia where I live, but a little bit further down. Uh, but he mentioned recently on a, uh, on a post, whoops, the paper towels have fallen, but he mentioned on a post recently that he loved the Cape Cod chips and I found them at Giant recently. So, I wanted to give them a try. And these, you know, are kind of interesting because they're kettle cooked waffle cut ch potato chips. And this is the seasoned pepper version. And I'm like, well, what's... What's seasoned pepper? Anyway, seasoned pepper apparently just means black pepper, white pepper, and red pepper ground up onto the chips. Uh, which I write on the back of the bag. I don't know what my cat's doing there. I think she's trying to get into the Lay's chips. Uh, those aren't very good, Dusty. You probably don't want those. Anyway, so uh, the, back to the Cape Cod chips. They are waffle uh, cut, which I mentioned. And also, I like waffle fries, you know. Um, Chick-fil-A, you know, as bad as people think they are, they have great waffle fries, which is not 100% redeeming, but damn, they are good. And I used to like the waffle fries at Mr. Hero back in the day as well, but just don't eat the Roman burger. Anyhow, I have right here a waffle cut fry, or not fry, but a potato chip anyway, from Cape Cod and Dusty, I don't know what her deal is. There's not like any kind of um, <laughs> any kind of catnip over here or anything. Maybe she just likes the smell of chips. But anyway, so there's the waffle cut chip. As you can see, it's kind of wavy like a regular Ruffles from the side, actually, like that. It kind of looks like a Ruffles, doesn't it? Anyway, but it is waffle cut, as you can see, because you can kind of see through it. You can see Dusty through it. Anyhow, you know, I wonder what happened to the bits of potato that were extracted when they sort of, you know, or extruded maybe when they put it through the press. I don't see, well, there is some pepper on there. It's too close. There you go. You can kind of see the different little specks of pepper on there. It smells peppery. Anyway, you can take a look at the bag while I take a bite. <laughs> All right, so this might fit into cat butt, uh, you know, videos as well. I've seen those online, which I don't watch, you know, frequently. But anyway, the uh, Cape Cod chip tastes very good. I really liked it. Um, it's very crispy. Uh, very fresh tasting. It says it's all natural, and so I guess it has to be very fresh tasting. Um, the pepper's not overwhelming. It's not even that noticeable. This tastes like a good, you know, seasoned potato chip of some sort. Um, I'm going to go ahead and give it three quarters thumbs up. Uh, if they had smaller bags, I would buy them constantly, but I don't buy big bags like this very much, you know, because I just don't want to eat them because I, you know, the three or four times a week that I actually do this sort of thing, you know, are the only three or four times that I actually eat junk food. Otherwise, I'm eating, like, skinless chicken and brown rice and crap like that. Anyway, thanks for the recommendation, Shaw. And uh, we'll see you next time on Quick Chips. Bye-bye.